All right, what's going on boys and girls? So we're here with a reaction video. I have not done one of these in a while. Um, YouTube has been an interesting place to find stuff lately. So with that said, uh, let's roll into it. I have no idea how this video is. I have no idea who this person is. All I know is their video is entitled Linux Desktop, Never Again. Let's talk about productivity for regular users. Now, I am very curious on this, so let's roll into this because I'm pretty sure I do productivity a lot in Linux, so. Hi guys, my name is Marcelo and I'm from Brazil. Sorry about my English. If I made some mistake, please leave a comment so I can improve myself. I'm a little rusty. Uh, I'm here to share with you my experience with- First off, actually you speak better English than 99.9% .9 of us that actually speak it natively and as our only talk. So props on you for that. With Linux, and for the last 15 years, I've been an entrepreneur and a, a programmer as well for my own small company. So I'm the kind of guy that is multitask. I need to develop, uh, but I also to sell, to make fun, uh, things run well and wherever. So sometimes I need to edit a video like this one. Uh, that, I, that you are watching. Sometimes I need to edit an audio message, images all the time. So for me, uh, Windows was always more productive and I end up using Linux as a server. Also because I, I share Linux Torvalds uh, thoughts about the community, get in together and make something better. You know, uh, so I was needing to, I need, I was having the necessity of being more productive and my hardware was not good enough. So I decided to buy a Dell notebook and really great machine, really powerful. Okay, so basically what, I'm just guessing here, your argument is that you're more productive on Windows based on... There's no reasoning here so far um, as far as like what makes you more productive. Is it specifically workflow related? Uh, you can emulate the Windows workflow to an extent in Linux. I'm not saying it's perfect, far from it. Um, so you're not 100% clear on what, why you're more productive on Windows. So I'm curious to see whether or not you're actually going to go off. I'm assuming people start me expecting me to start yelling and screaming and swearing. I'm curious, actually. And But for some reason with Windows 10, I was having an issue with uh, hard disk drive always uh, running at 100%. So, uh, with a lot of projects to do, I decided to give a shot and switch from Windows 10 to Ubuntu. It was the worst experience ever. It looks like my hardware, even after update, uh, was not was not being fully used. You know, like so, like you have a really nice car uh, running through a really poor street, no roads, so you cannot go f with all your strength, with all your power. So I decided to change for uh, to switch to Linux Mint, uh, Mate, and it was really fun. It's really nice, uh, really beautiful. Okay, as far as the Ubuntu, uh, my question boils down to what specifically wasn't working. Um, like you, you got to be more specific. People can't help or sympathize if you're not specific enough with what your problems are you know you talk about uh you know if it was something like a gpu uh no offense but did you install the drivers if it was a nvidia card if it was an l intel or all amd system then well okay there is no excuse for that um so again it, it Eh, uh, like I, i'm not seeing anything to yell and scream about because you're not even giving like bs reasons you're just giving really no reasons other than it didn't work okay that's really not helpful environment 
But for some reason, after an update, my video drivers went out and then someone told me to go to Cinnamon, where the experience was even better. So I was, re I was really happy because 15 years ago, when uh, I got my first Linux Susie, uh, it was really, really hard to get things working. But back then, I was only a programmer. So I don't have, uh, uh, don't, didn't have the necessity to have a full environment to a multitask user. For me, it was fine. But with time, <clears throat> things got uh, more complicated. So Linux Mint Cinnamon, uh, I had built the entire environment and it was really nice to work. But for some reason, the system crashed again and then it goes day in, day out, trying to fix instead of working, trying to fix the environment so I could work faster. Work faster. So, end up that I try Debian. I'm going to reiterate again. You're just saying, okay, the first time you talked about it crashed because of your video driver. So, I'm assuming NVIDIA. Okay. Now, here's the problem, as, oh, and this is me as a Linux user, this is the problem. It depends on the driver, depends on the flavor of Linux, depends on which version of the flavor that's currently supported that's being run. Like, if you're on Ubuntu, as of this video, it's 14, 1404, 1604, it's 1804, and 1810. Um, Linux Mint has three different versions that are officially supported, if I remember correctly. You have, like, just you have a bunch of different things to go along that so yeah there's going to be problems but in order to solve those problems you need to be more specific about what they are as opposed to vague oh i uh, the 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 oh it was an update well what updates did you pull down like it was it did you go and tell it to update the drivers okay then that might be a nvidia issue and i'll give you that but again, you're being very vague and not really given reasons, uh, like concrete, like, hey, you know, you talk about being a, a programmer and stuff. Well, like, you should know that you can't just give vague reasons and like, oh, it didn't work. You can't give end user things that programmers always complain about end users doing. And as a programmer, you should know this. You are giving end user answers. It, there's no correlation here like give better answers so people can actually so you can find the bug and fix the bug essentially but right on the installation things got wrong and I was thinking what the hell man this gotta be a problem with me you know but then you go to the internet and search about it and you find out it's no a, a lot of users are having trouble to work with Linux desktop in several distros. So uh, I tested Manjaro with work well. The installation was pretty fast, pretty quick. And when I was trying to set up the environment, these, the updates and installings was really, really slow. I mean, was the slowest experience to update something ever. And, and that for me was enough, you know? Got a work to do, pays, bills to pay, and then I switched from Manjaro to OpenSUSE. Boy, that guy did a really good job because from one place. Okay, so as far as Manjaro is concerned, um, that's an arch derivative base, call it whatever you want. So depending on what you're pulling down and how things need to be installed or built, uh, with Pac-Man or whatever, take your flavor of um, Arch, you know, management um, as far as packages, it really does boil down to um, Arch is a different system. It might be quicker, doesn't it? That does not necessarily mean it's always the quickest to install things, um, especially if you start messing around with the AUR or any of that stuff then you, you, odds are you're going to end up building a lot of things, which takes compute time. It's kind of a novel idea. Again, as a programmer, you should kind of understand that. I'm not slagging you, 
but a lot of these complaints are end user complaints but you say you're a programmer for the last 15 years so you should understand compute time and all this other stuff when it comes to building a package etc is i could manage the entire system following the same logic following this uh, almost same commands i didn't have to install several programs to to run several different commands to achieve my my goals you know so it w it was it, it looks like it was more polish you know but after an update it crashed out my video drivers was not working so the one thing i noticed that you keep talking about on this is your drivers keep failing um that sounds like a nvidia issue so just a mild recommendation there's different sets of nvidia drivers try to the different drivers it's no different than when something on windows fails for a driver you kind of just try an older one to see if it maybe you know roll back to to an older driver to see if that fixes it it's no different um the the biggest issue and as far as open source uh polish is not something I would, a term of endearment I would use for OpenSUSE. Uh, Kluge convulted mess of an installer is an automatic turnoff. Um, that, that is just my take on OpenSUSE as far as I'd rather run a free BSD spin than OpenSUSE. And that was exactly what happened when we had a Big Daddy Linux Live challenge for OpenSUSE. I got through the install process, and that is as far as I made it because I could not stand Yast. I could not stand the fact that it can't make up its mind if Discover or Yast is going to handle updates. I cannot dis <laughs> try to connect to your Wi-Fi through the installer. There's a kludge. There are just so many things that I cannot wrap my head around that people say oh it's easy to use no it's easy to use because you live in it that's the difference so that sorry side rant on uh open susa but uh, uh people who say it's polished i do tend to take issue with that if you want open susa go use gecko And after eight hours trying to do, I'm not a Linux expert, you know, I'm, a, I'm more like to the entrepreneur that's trying to make money. So I didn't have time to go and hack the full system and stuff. So uh, after that, I gave up. I ended up installing Windows 10 OS. And after installing, in one hour, my entire environment was ready to work and also with that problem fix it the problem that pushes me away from windows to linux now was dead and now i'm making this video in an awesome editor movavio video editor and and now i'm happy i can finally work finally work before someone says well this thing's wrong or whatever blah, 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 let me explain you one thing especially when you're young if you're a one a young folk that is looking at this video and say hey, so why this guy is full of crap? Let me tell you one thing. With time, when we are, are uh, young, we want our freedom. Freedom from our parents, freedom for the, from the loss of money, from the property. <laughs> I am definitely not young. I am definitely a neckbeard, um, as you can tell. At the end of the day, the problem is from the sounds of it it's a conflict in your hardware unfortunately if you had simply asked in whatever linux user group you're in or linux forum or where you go for support irc slack whatever um and if you had asked somebody hey this is my machine apparently it's an nvidia issue what's the problem you would have probably found the answer it's no different than when you go and you have a bunch of stupid DLL errors in Windows and you have to go to different DLL sites to download all the dynamic link libraries in order to fix some stupid shit in Windows. 
the fact of the matter is it doesn't take eight hours you know if it borks it borks that's fine i've had plenty of windows installs bork and just as bad as everything else um so i think that's a disingenuous argument um not saying you don't have a valid point if windows works best for you then by all means use it but on the same note uh you know you said you used linux mint you used manjaro you used uh ubuntu and OpenSUSE. out of every single one of those installs it sounds like you kept it, my driver 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 might be your driver so if it was a driver issue on windows you would try an older driver or the brand spanking beta newest driver or something in between that's kind of how you troubleshoot the problem is well from what i'm seeing is you spent more time distro hopping to solve your problem as opposed to actually trying to solve the problem distro hopping does not solve the symptom <laughs> you're looking to solve a problem by trying to solve a symptom uh basically you know the disease portion is the small little nvidia blob that's the problem but you think by going to a completely different <laughs> distro is going to solve the problem uh no that's not how that works again it sounds like it's uh, it sounds like it's a nvidia issue if that's what you're using for a card then uh older driver newer newer driver it's your options no different than in windows I'm not saying you don't have a point, but distro hopping and whatnot is probably the last solution you want to do if you're looking for productivity. Just saying. Poverty, I don't know where you live, where, uh, which country you are watching this video, but for me, it's kind of always been like that. I leave my house when I was 16, trying to search my independence. Had a lot of hard time. And for me, when I begin to make money and money and money, and now I make more money than I ever did. I'm 31, I have a wife, I have two beautiful kids that I love. That I really like to be with them, to see them grow and try to teach something to them. They don't realize that money is not that interesting how it was before. The most valuable thing you have is your health and your time. And the money got bigger and the time got shorter. So for me, time and productivity is really, really important. And if you are only a programmer or do a specific task, maybe Linux works for you. But for a multitask user users as me, uh, which has the time it's money way of think. Uh, for me, Linux desktop never again. It was the worst experience ever. Every distro missed something. And the distros that I was happy with it simply got broke after updates. So for me, it's stable. I was sitting with a client. I think that's a disingenuous statement. It's technology. Shit breaks. Um how many people when they rolled out windows 10 and were forcing people to update from seven to eight or from seven and eight and eight one to ten or given the the infinite uh updates you know you come back to a brand new os that you didn't want so i think it's a disingenuous statement i'm not saying there aren't problems there definitely are um in your particular case See, and this is the difference, and this is why I'm not you know, ranting and raving like I normally would. In your particular case, do you think jumping ship to a different distro is going to solve a core problem? The core problem is the hardware. Again, going by what you've given for very little information. You're not going to solve the problem by using essentially the same medicine that tastes different. <laughs> oh well the cherry uh, the cherry flavored cold medicine didn't work so I'll try the blueberry it doesn't work that way um, so 
I, th- I think, again, it's a disingenuous statement. If Windows works best for you, then by all means, use it. But on the same note, know where to point the problem at. And the thing that kind of irks me the most about this entire video thus far has been, you know, you claim to be a programmer, but you were given nothing but generalities and whatnot with, you, with your descriptions of things. Oh, well, it didn't do this. And the only commonality I've been able to point out and find is... Uh, Driver, driver, and driver, and driver. So I'm only guessing it's a NVIDIA card. And during the during the presentation of selling my product, it simply is freezing. You, the OS freezes. And we, it will waste like five, 10 minutes. And to people that work with sales, you know that you gotta keep the line of conversation. You can't break that line. For me, for me, it's very frustrating, very frustrating. I hope the community don't get mad at me, but I hope that I never need a Linux desktop again. Uh, despite all the good that Linux brought to our world, I'm very happy uh, in doing things with one click and without a terminal. Uh, in one of the forums that I was reading in the last few days, someone said, Linux is only free if your time works nothing. And I'm the living proof that that is true. Linux desktop, never again. Your t- <laughs> Linux is only free if your time is worth nothing. No, that is such a Okay, so that particular statement has always irked me. At the end of the day, it is not about whether it's where you value your time. Is your freedom worth your time? That is really what it boils down to. To me, the reason I use the Linux is for control. I don't have Microsoft key logging all my information. And do know, irony, that I do use Windows still. You know, there there is this weird thing that I still use. For those that want to know, yeah, I still use Windows. At the end of the day, I'm not about against using tools to get stuff done. But also, at the end of the day, I'm also about using the best tools for the job. And do note, this video is entirely done, edited, and recorded in Linux using OBS and Kane Live. So it is also proof that you can do this. I'm using Ubuntu 18.04 with Unity. So it is a matter of perspective. It is a matter of user experience. It is no different for people who praise the world of mac os but at the end of the day if you search online there's plenty of issues with mac os if you search online and type in windows problems there's gonna be a lot of stuff online because the idea is to help solve the problems so as far as your particular problem Windows is a better solution, be it for the hardware or whatever. That's perfectly fine. What I take issue with is the whole, if your time is worth, you know, Linux is only free if your time is worth nothing. That is a bullshit statement flat out. There are plenty of people who spend their time and make money on Linux. So at the end of the day, that's living proof that that argument is a straw man. So to me, it's what you value more. You're going to have to spend something. You're either going to spend time, which is not returnable, which is non-refundable, and you're going to spend time, which you only have a finite amount of and can never get back. Or you're going to spend money to not spend time. 
You cannot do both, however. You can spend money and time, but if spending money saves me time, then that's fine. But if I can save money at times when needed, I will spend that finite amount of time to save money from time to time. It is called balance. And that's really what it boils down to. I'm not ranting. I'm not going to rave. I think the whole Linux is only free if you don't value your time, essentially, is a load of crap. And anybody who spews that shit, uh, you gotta get. You better get your worldview straightened out. Life isn't about time or money. Life is about balance. Life lessons.